Hello guys, this is Rich of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. Guys, it's uh, January 22 and we're again back for our devotional. I praise God for again that good night rest He has given us and I thank God for this another day na binigay niya sa atin. Sana we always have to praise God for what He has given us especially na nagising pa tayo. No? Kaya, kasi yung iba dyan, hindi na nagigising. No? Okay, so let's open our Bible guys to Romans 8 verses 9 to 17. Romans 8, verses 9 to 17. I, still, I'm using the devotional study Bible in order for us to really understand the word because the words used in this Bible is so simplified. So, Romans 8, 9 to 17 says, You, however, are controlled not by the sinful nature, but by the spirit. spirit. If the Spirit of God lives in you, and if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, your body is dead because of sin. Yet your spirit is alive because of righteousness. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through the spirit who lives in you. Therefore, brothers, we have an obligation, but it is not to the sinful nature to live according to it. For if you live according to your sinful nature, you will die. But if you, by the Spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. Because those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear, but you receive the spirit of sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit Himself testify with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are children, then we are ears, ears of God and co-ears with Christ. If indeed we share in His suffering in order that we may also share in His glory. Amen. No? Ang ganda ng ano. Ang ganda ng verse. No? So guys, let's pray more. Father God, it's true that uh, we commit sin, oh God, because we're not that perfect. But if the Holy Spirit would really control us fully, oh God, then we cannot do sin. And we have that desire to, re to really be controlled by you, then we can prevent ourselves from sin. Lord, we accept, oh God, that we are all sinners. That's why we need your grace to be upon us. We need your forgiveness to be upon us, oh God. And I pray, Father God, for your leading, even as we have our devotional today. We pray for your love and uh, your uh, direction for us on what to do. We commit these things to you, oh God. This time we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. So, our main text for today is found in Romans 8.14. And it says, For those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Amen. No? Okay, so still I'm using the Our Daily Bread devotional book and the title of our devotion for today is Always a Child of God. Okay, during a church service I attended with my parents according to the usual practice we held hands while saying in the Lord's Prayer, singing the Lord's Prayer together. As I stood with one hand clasped to my mother and the other to my father, I was struck by the thought that I will only be their daughter. Although I am firmly in my middle age, I can still be called the child of Leo and Phyllis. I reflected that not only am I their daughter, but I will also always be a child of God. Amen. No, we are always be a child of God. The Apostle Paul wanted the people in the church of Rome to understand that their identity was based being 
adopted members of God's family because they had been born to of the Spirit, no longer did. They need to be enslaved to things that didn't really matter. Rather, through the gift of the Spirit, they were ears of God and co-heirs with Christ. To those who follow Christ, what difference does this make? Quite simply, everything. Our identity as children of God provides our foundation and shapes how we see ourselves and the world. For instance, knowing that we are part of God's family helps us to step out of our comfort zone as we follow Him. We can also be free from seeking the approval of others. Today, why not ponder what it means to be God's child? Uh, what it means to be God's job. For me, it is it's a privilege na uh, He consider us to be children of God. No? Uh, Klarong-klaro naman yung sinabi sa the Bible na not all who call me, call my name, will become my children. No? Okay. So, how would they become a, a child of Christ? No? Okay. Ang yung iba dyan, no, na ano ko na, na ko na sa previous devotional ko, but uh, uh, sabi niya, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except me. So we need to accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and Lord. No? Uh, may tanong nga siya kanina dito, no, yung ano, siya, what difference does this make no, when you follow Jesus Christ? The answer is everything. Everything. No? Okay. So, although we are sinner, no gayo nang nangyari sa ano na as they sing the uh, ano yon yung the lord's prayer they both held hands uh, di ba may mga churches na as they sang that song no uh, hawak kamay sila no na realize ni Elise no na Elise ba or Phyllis or that daughter na uh, he is not uh, she's not just a daughter of her parents but she's also a daughter of Christ, no? Ganyan man talaga tayo. If we have the relationship with God, then He can be our Father. Then, He can, we can consider ourselves as children of God. Many claim that they are children of God, but yet their relationship to God is nothing. They're not doing things. Basta lang, malabas sa bibig, pero walang relationship. Walang ginagawa. Hindi nila dinedevelop yung relationship nila kay Lord. So, dapat i-develop natin yung uh, relationship natin kay Lord by uh, doing Bible reading, devotional, uh, prayer, meditation. Kaya itong ginagawa natin guys, devotion is really a big factor for us to grow sa Kanya. No? Uh, so, no matter how simple we are, we are still children of God. That if we immediately ask uh, forgiveness, no? sa kay Jesus Christ sa Panginoon sa mga nagawa nating mga kasalanan. Okay guys, let's pray. Lord God, help us to live out of our central identity as your child. Release us to live by your spirit that we might share your love and hope. Those who follow God are his children. Amen. And amen. No? Okay guys, sana may natutunan naman tayo no? sa devotional natin to. Kaya I'll expect you to come so we could go together in God. In, in the Lord. No? Kasi kailangan din natin yan. We are now in the last days. No? Oh, malapit na talaga yung sinasabi sa Revelation na mangyari na talaga yun. That's why we are here for our devotional. See you again tomorrow, the same time, the same channel, 7 o'clock. No? Kasi uh, yan na yung time na ano ko talaga, ina-adot ko. No? Okay, again, kita-kita tayo uli, no? And this is Rich, so Rich TV. And hanggang sa muli, paalam!